Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia, for those of you who are new, and today's video is a continuation of my series on Rapunzel Shapers. This happens to be the third video, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the classic shaper and the ultimate. Now, before I get started, I will go over the basics of what I'm doing here in case you didn't catch the first two. I'm gonna be talking about the size of the shaper, the weight, pros, cons, um, how comfortable the shaper is, wrap versatility, tips and tricks that I've learned through experience with the shapers. And then um, I will be doing a little bit of a wrapping demonstration in there to show you what it looks like wrapped with a scarf. Now, I am going to be continuing to use my friend here, the pumpkin soft pashmina, because I think it's important to keep the scarf the same so you're not distracted by, ooh, pretty. And some scarves make the other ones, and I said, ooh, pretty, that's, that's, I'm gonna roll my eyes at myself. Not distracted by the scarf itself. Having the, I find that having the same scarf used in each video, you're more focused on the shape of the, the shaper or in the, the final, the final wrap. <laughs> oh my goodness. Then you are the, um, the scarf itself because some scarves are brighter, shinier, more colorful, and they distract from or alter the way you perceive or the eye perceives the wrap. So same scarf as the last time. And, um, because one of the shapers, the, the classic, requires an extra piece, I'm going to be talking about the velvet headband quickly. Nothing, nothing in depth, just a, a just a trick on how to put it on. Um, so to get started, I have to say my throat is sore. I spent a lot of time yesterday talking to cats because I was sewing. And if you have cats and you sew, you know that they want to help. And um, their helping is not, it's more like hindering. It's, um, I spent a lot of time shooing the cats off of my fabric. They started out really, really nicely, not, you know, they were napping and leaving me alone. And then a few hours into it, they were like skating on the fabric. And I was just, it's like, no, no, don't do that. So I'm a little sore throated. So I have my cauldron o beverage. Okay, now I'm going to start with the classic shaper because that's the top one in my lap right now. Um, the classic shaper is this guy here. And this is a medium size shaper. Uh, I know it looks really big, but compared to a Wendy or the Bobo or the Uber Poof, this guy is pretty, pretty medium sized. He's like right in the middle. The uh, weight for this particular one is 3.1 ounces or 87 grams. All right, so the pros. Now, the biggest pro for me, and I think it might be for, for a lot of people, is that I don't have to replace the entire, entire cap when the velvet headband gets stretched out and it doesn't work anymore. I just, I keep this and I just replace this piece, which is cost effective. It, the shape, you know, if you love the shape of this particular shaper and it works for you, this is an amazing thing. You buy this one once every few years. It's, it's pretty long. It's a, you'll have it for a long time. Now I, this, this particular one is one, the one that was given to me by Rapunzel when I first started doing videos for them and working with them. And this is in super excellent condition. I wear this one um, probably on average twice a month. And that's because, and I, I say that because I've got a lot of other ones to rotate through. I want them to last as long as possible. So I just kind of put them on constant rotation. But this guy is in absolutely perfect condition. Now, also with this one, it is extremely adjustable as far as head size. It's got these great long, arms ties to just it makes it tie it looser tighter it'll fit other a large amount of heads now 
As far as the bonnet fabric, this is a nice, durable, sturdy, heavy fabric. So it, it's, it's good. It's a good long-term investment. I get a lot of stretch here on this fabric from front to back. All of them stretch around really well, but this one is a nice front to back stretch as well. So you can fit more hair inside of here. That's what I like about it because I have a huge amount of hair and even folded up and I don't want to say balled up, but um, bunned up it's still big on when I put it on, you know, when I put my shaper on. So it's nice to have this extra bit of stretch in here to provide room. Now taking out some of the stuffing gives it a little bit more room as well. So it, it's good for ladies with really thick, really um, long hair. So because you have such a, a goodly amount of space in here. I've got my notes in front of me so I don't forget anything or go off on a tangent. Um, all right, I went over that. Um, okay, there are a lot of, I will go into more, more pros as I remember them because I wrote down a lot of stuff here. I don't want to keep you look re, keep you on hold while I'm reading my notes. I'll just go on to the cons. Um, the cons is if you forget to order the velvet headband with with this, it's not going to stay on the head. It will just pop right off. So you have to remember the velvet headband with this one. Um, the velvet hand headband is not attached. Some people really enjoy the idea of just pl just plopping. That's weird um just putting on the shaper all at one time and not doing the two-step process now when i put the headband this is this is something that's interesting because i forget sometimes i'm so used to putting on an all include all enclosed cap but when tying this on if it's if it's not positioned properly or you have a lot of hair or a lot of really fine hair um, the hair can fall out underneath in this because there's when you're tying it there's a little bit of a gap back here and that not necessarily getting with the velcro um, ultimate here and I'll show you when I put this guy on um, comfortable oh my gosh very comfortable because it's so adjustable and and it, it customizable I want to say it's, it's a very comfortable shaper. It's not super huge, so there's not a lot of added weight on the back of the head. Um, it is a little different to drive in. Um, it's not quite as, as difficult as the Uber Poof was, and sometimes the Wendy can be a little, little awkward with having the volume depending on where you put it. Um, this one is a little bit different, a little bit a bulk back here when you're driving, so if you're not used to it, it takes a little bit of getting used to and moving of the chair. Also it depends on where you wear it, the amount of hair you have, whether you're going to need to adjust when, when driving or riding in a car. Um, I don't wear this one when I'm traveling long distances. I think I discussed this one in one of my other videos. When I'm traveling very long distances, I wear a headband, but um, for short distances, I would wear I would wear this one probably probably an hour and a half to two hour drive. And and I'm I'm doing this like shoes. We all have those those shoes that we know. That's a half an hour, that's three hours, that pair is all day. We all know this. But I'm thinking if I'm driving, um, this one is like a two hour drive, and that's my personal experience um, before I get out and move around because of the, the leaning backwards. So, okay, now a wrap versatility, you can wrap so many different wraps because it, there's a lot of space here for you to wrap on. Um, the sky's the limit, really. Uh, multiple, multiple scarves, um, heavy pashminas, really long scarves. It's lots of, lots of different things can be done with this one. Um, Okay, so I'm going to move on and just go, just go back and 
just go back. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just going to go on and show you how to put it on. Now I can see my ninja cap and I've got my headband here. I'm going to put it on. Now my headband I'm putting on over top, over top, above, and it wouldn't typically go behind my ears because I don't like the headband over my ears picking up my hair in the back. And I'm just going to Velcro it. Okay. All right. Like so. And I'm going to take the shaper. And this one is a little different. I'm going to start by placing the front and then putting the back. You can do it the opposite way. Of course, this is harder with my um, my ninja cap, so please forgive me. I may have to do it the opposite. Okay, there we go. All right. Typically, my it doesn't give me that much trouble when I'm um, putting it on. Now, lots of ways to do this when it comes to tying or or securing in the back. I can, see I have it back here. I can crisscross applesauce, bring up and around like so. Now, <laughs> bring, typically do this blindly. So bring up around trying to make it lie flat and then just tuck one underneath the other and have it up here. Can just do a simple, a simple tie here. The problem I have with this is my hair will sometimes come out here in this, this hole and that's not, you know, of course you're going to tuck these in here, but sometimes my hair comes out in there. So I'm going to say this also works. Putting the tail up inside. You can see it up here, bringing this one around. And then I have a small pin that I can work up here. This is something I've done. So I have something like this and it makes this smaller here. So my hair is less likely to, to fall out. Now, I'm going to tell you, the positioning up here is also important because if you pull it forward, the more you pull it forward, the smaller the area in here is and the um, tighter the back is to your head. Now, if you have a ton of hair, you can move this back halfway or you can move it back as far as you see right in here where this nice stitch line, I like to just behind the stitch line because this takes the pressure off of my the front of my hair when I'm wearing it because I have a huge amount of hair. So that makes it easier, easier to wear. And then I can do the crisscross. I thought about sewing a snap right here because I thought that would be instead of using a pin um, and it's on my list of many things that I need to get done but I thought I would put a little a little just a normal snap right here to make it easier for me to just bring it around and attach it. So this is kind of cool. 
and we'll do the whole hopefully I'm pinning it properly okay so that's a that's a fun way to close up that that hole in the back some there's still a little bit here it is what it is but the one thing um, I notice with this is I have a little dip here. Uh, when I put heavy scarves on that or multiple scarves, that's not a problem. But um, when it's just the one scarf, sometimes it gets to be a little much. Now I can also take this elastic piece and tuck it like so. Just like this it gives it the it covers up that hole completely and the only way I can do that is if I bring up one of the arms and hook it around so this guy is awkward looks awkward right now because it's on top of my my ninja cap I don't wear this shaper when I'm wearing a ninja cap I typically don't wear a shaper with this kind of cap it's um a little weird to me and it doesn't stick on the head as much so I apologize for that but this is the only way I could come up with to demonstrate all of these fun bits now one of the other things let me let me wrap this really quick and then I'll show you something else that I discovered and it's it's so much fun okay I'm just going to tie a beginner's luck same as I did for the last one Again, you could take some of the stuffing out if it's not the right the right amount for your head, which I will be taking a little bit of this out. Okay, so crisscross applesauce. Just going to be folding in, going up and over. And the knot. So, for so side profile, yeah, obviously is ba the back. Um, it's a it's a nice back hanging back volume. All the volume is in the back. Um, there's none up here at all. So you've got. So this is where you can see where it would be an issue with maybe driving. Um, having all the weight back here can be uncomfortable for some la some people um but it gives a nice overall good shape to your wraps i'm gonna turn to this side and show you from this side the back of it you don't you don't see any even if it wasn't tucked you don't wouldn't see a space back here where the where the gap is, where that hole is underneath, you wouldn't see that at all. Okay, now I'm gonna take this off. And I'm going to unpin this. Pin on. Okay, now I'm going to adjust this guy. And I I have worn this backwards. Now you're like, what? But I have, I've worn this one backwards and it's really interesting. I only do it for wraps that have the um, f big floof pieces in the front and I will show you. So let's, let's try this this way first. This is really difficult with this this cap on. <laughs> okay. Getting it to catch. There we go. Pushing my hair up underneath. Like so. Okay. Now I'm going to tie this and then adjust the back. Again, this is typically really easy to do, but because of my ninja cap, it's awkward. Okay, there we go. 
All right. So as you can see, it's got this big, this the big hole up here. But look, just like the Cloud9 and the Uber Poof, this guy looks good with the volume on top. Now, this part is the big knots and things tend to cover that up. So if it's got a big elaborate piece here, you don't notice. But just to um, just to pull the, a thin and a thicker scarf, this way a thicker scarf or a longer scarf, so there's more to wrap around. Maybe not a um, two-in-one. But I'm going to attempt after after I got done with the videos, I was having a few minutes of tickle play and I did something on my last video, after my last video, that um, I don't know how in the world I did it. I was just playing and I'm gonna attempt, I'm gonna attempt it here. If it doesn't work, I apologize, but I thought it would be a great time to test it out with the volume on top from this guy. So I'm putting it, I'm not folding it at all. I'm putting it on my head. I got all of this hanging in front of me. I'm gonna bring this up loosely and I'm gonna give it a good tie, maybe. Okay, so when I pull it, I'm going to get this all here. That's not, no, okay. I definitely want a lot of the volume. Okay. A lot of the volume to be in that that hanging piece. So I'm pulling, I'm pulling on the inner edge here. Let's see if I can tie that knot blindly. Tie this knot. Okay, so. A little bit tighter. Okay, so I have a random floof here. Okay, I will fix that. I'm going to take this guy here, bringing it around the back. Neatly. Tucking. Doing the same on this side. Okay. Okay, I think we can, I think this looks similar enough. Okay, I'm going to tuck this up in the front here, just like so. And then I'm going to play with this to adjust it. And get that floof as pretty as I can get it. Okay. Okay. This is similar. This is similar to what I had. Um, not exactly this. Not exactly perfectly the same. But thinking this is going to work. Okay. Okay, so you can see you there's no indication that there's a hole in the front here whatsoever, especially if I tuck this in a little bit more. Bring this up. Okay, so this has a nice shape, a very no volume in the back at all shape, kind of shape, all the volume up at the top. 
and turn around this way. Now the danger with the, they say the danger, but the, the whole thing about this kind of free form look is that it looks different each time I wrap it. So this is similar enough for me and I'm not hyper-focused on getting the pleats or the, the crinkles in the same exact spot. So be forewarned, they change. They, they change this position of this piece here will change a lot, so. But it's okay, I'm, I'm okay with it. Now, if I wanted this to lay a little flatter, I could just shove a pin in there and it would stay. But this is the classic shaper, backwards and wrapped. Okay, now I'm gonna take this guy off. All right. Okay. I'll take this off. Now to talk about this one, I always wear this one behind my ears, but you can also wear it over top of your ears if you have a headband that, and that or you're comfortable with wearing over top of your ears. Now I'm going to be moving on to the ultimate shaper. I'm gonna put the classic over here and fix my cap. Ah, there you are. Almost lost it, oh my goodness. Now this guy went, has been in my collection for a while, so he's kind of, kind of stained and beat up. The staining is makeup. Um, for some reason, I end up getting and getting the makeup all over it and um yeah yep it's a little stretched out it's but it's it's very comfortable i love this one i love this one there's only one thing that i kind of kind of is not um a big a big happy spot for me and i'll talk about that in the cons section but this one is a medium sized shaper the same as excuse me the same as the classic it weighs in at 3.1 ounces, so really close, really almost exactly the same as the other, and that's 87 grams. Uh, pros, it's a good size shaper. Uh, this one works for a lot of different hairstyles. This one gives you a good volume, um, long hair. I've seen ladies who have locks love this one. Um, braids, long braids this one works really well for um really thick curly hair this one works really good for because there's a lot of space in here when i first started wrapping i thought of this particular one as the classic with the headband attached now there are slight differences with the shape of the poof and the amount of poof but it, in my mind, it was so similar um, that it gave, and it gave the same the same ish shape uh, with the volume out the back. That it was I I considered this one this one just to be a classic with the with the headband attached. Now, depending, I mean it's it's a little bit different, but um, those differences aren't so aren't so noticeable. But this guy has the hole to add or subtract stuffing. I would say that when it comes to you, it's pretty maxed out as far as stuffing inside of the reservoir. But it's if you can if you can fit more stuffing or try to fit more stuffing, um, it's it's a personal preference. Um, oh my goodness. They would, you know why it was the same weight? <laughs> oh my goodness. It was the same weight because I was reading the wrong paper. I apologize. The um, ultimate is the medium, is still a medium shaper. It's three ounces, not 3.1 ounces. So it's 0.1 ounces is the difference in the, or three grams because this one is 84 grams. I apologize for the mix up. So the velvet headband is attached, as I said before. It is adjustable. It has a nice long piece of, of soft um, Velcro. So as it stretches out, you just get smaller, or if you have a bigger head, 
Now you can put it out here, the smaller head, you can put it in further. Um, as I talked about, I did talk about lots of room. See, this is this experience. I was taking, looking at my the wrong piece of paper and I was still saying the right things about the shape, about the shaper. Oh my goodness, lots of experience with it. Um, so we got the adjustable Velcro headband. I talked about it's being comparable in size to the classic. The heavy weight material is the same, the same kind of material where it's super, super stretchy. Even going back is super stretchy. Of course, it's stretchy going around. So this one will stretch all four ways. So you get a more space inside of the bonnet. And now I, something I didn't mention with the classic about this, we'll move on to um, the cons. The, because the material is heavy, it is hotter in the summer to wear this. So I relegate these guys mostly to cool days or or fall, winter, and early spring because it is it's just hot. It it it's it's a hotter material because of the weight of it. Um you get a possibility of squid head with this one. Um when you put it on, the, it in, in, it doesn't have enough volume inside of the cat of this portion. It can dent down in, and then you have a squid like the possibility of squid head. That did a very bad job right there showing you, but I can show you when I put it on my head. Um, possibility of squid head. All right. The Velcro, like with the most Velcro anything, there's a possibility of getting the Velcro stuck in your hair or on your scarves. So just be mindful of where the this, this portion of the Velcro is. Um, wrap versatility, so many. This is just as just as versatile as the the classic. And Wendy and and any of the shapers that have have good volume with them, M multiple scarves. Oh, I'm getting tongue tied. Excuse me for one second. It's time for a little bit of a drink. Okay. Multiple scarves, heavy scarves, large wraps, all can be done with this guy here, um, and all look really good. It's very secure. So I'm going to, I'm going to put this one out here when, um, I'm getting ready to put it on this. When I first got it, this was definitely not, this was definitely not my favorite. I did not like it at all. I, I, I don't know how to explain this with, I didn't understand the difference of wrapping with this versus the Wendy. I'm, Again, a Wendy girl. I had been wearing the Wendy for a long time before I got the Ultimate. And um, when I positioning of my hair was way different. When I wear the Wendy, I have my hair more up here. This one, I had to have my hair in the in, in this section of my head. And so when I put it on, and I would have lumpy bumpiness in the center, or I'd get the a big dip in the center, and it was just frustrating when I was wrapping it, and I had it wouldn't. The wrap didn't look the way I wanted it to look. It was just disheartening. And I thought, again, I thought it was me. I thought, I, I, I can't do this. I, I'm so horrible at this. And it caused me to doubt me when I was doing, when I was using it. Until I realized, no, it's not, it's not you. The shaper takes a little bit of a different a technique. It's kind of like wrapping with the bobo. Um, it takes, there are different techniques to, you know, you don't have um, as much as much hair to fill the channels. You wear it a little bit further forward. You wear a little bit of an extra, you wear a, a, an extra scarf around this, this piece in here to make it in the proper shape. It's a lot of, a lot of finessing and learning with this one. Um, so I would say this one is more of an intermediate wrapping. You don't have to be an expert to wrap with this one, but it's not, it, it's different than say the, the classic, um, 
the signature or the the Wendy and that it's um it takes a lot to get no love it takes practice but not as much as a, an uber or a bobo to get your hair and and scarves placed in the proper position i hope i described that well because i i went through a whole i hate you i love you i hate you i should i should wear you more but you make me angry kind of um relationship with this shaper i am now at the point where i'm like i like you you're cool we we can be friends i'm not to the point where i'm like you are my best friend that's we're not there yet but um we're at we're at the point where i like you i i will wrap with you but that's it's taken a bit to get to that point and I hope I don't offend anybody. I hope I don't, I don't hurt anybody's feelings when I say that because this is just my opinion and my experience as I, as I go through this journey with you, that, that I'm honest about all this stuff. If I don't like it, I'm going to say it right out. If it doesn't work, it, I'm going to say it right out. But um, we're getting to the point where I will be, I'm wearing it, I am now wearing it more often, but I will be wearing it more often than I am even now because it's okay. We've, we've reached that, that stage in our friendship. That's, it's kind of cool. Now I'm going to put it on my head. I'm going to just get to it because I could talk about that all day about, but I'm going to put this on my head and I don't, I don't have any really crazy tricks really crazy tricks with this one because again we're just really starting to become friends after a while of I, I i hate you i love you no no i don't like you at all all right so i've got it on just velcroing it into place and as you can see this is the portion where i get a little perturbed because I have a boatload of hair, and while right now it is um, under this ninja cap, which is going to make it a little bit awkward, a little more awkward to, to finagle my hair into place. You can see what I mean about the dip, and it, the scarf can go down in here, and then you end up with this bulk. But let's see if we can, let's see if we can wrap her without there being an issue. Okay, so easy to put on. It doesn't weigh that much, so it's not an extra who pulling me back kind of feeling. Now, oh, goodness, I can, I could possibly pull out some of the, the floof, but I'm, I'm enjoying, I, I'm just gonna leave it. I don't, but this, it does, you can reach through and adjust hair from this. That's, an, that's another interesting thing about the Velcro. I can secure it. And then if my hair isn't in the proper position, I can reach through and just push it into a more, so, I don't know, a better position inside of the shaper. And then readjust, if, ne if necessary, the... Velcro. Okay. Now, this piece here sometimes rolls over, so I have to be mindful of this little piece of Velcro that is hanging out. Okay, I'm going to fold it over, do the same um, beginner's luck knot. position okay crisscross applesauce and nice and wide cover that up now this is where I want to be very careful not to pull too tightly the shape 
could go from more conical because it's wider in the front because my head is big and it goes back and gets narrower the volume gets narrower in the back as it goes backward i could easily have cinched in too tightly and made that weird poof in the back okay so you can see the different difference in the volume here and it when it goes back it just gets smaller in I hope that translates well it's not as noticeable um, if you have a thicker scarf or um, a heavy or more than one scarf you can kind of make it look like it's all going back at the same volume and I think that's one of the, I think that's really another one of those things that really drove me crazy is I'm, I was used to the volume going back at the same as my head because it, it's more attractive. It, my face looks very much rounder um, when I have that cone shape going back. Um, so it's, that's another thing that I, I prefer the the way it goes this way it goes back straight or it slightly flares to to make my face or give my face the appearance of being not so not so roundy um or or look so big I, I think that's the best way to put it so it's it's just an optical illusion. Um, my face doesn't get any smaller, but it just looks smaller when I have a have a shaper that just goes straight back or slightly flares out from my head. So okay, I hope I described that well. Um, I'm feeling like I didn't get that across really well, but. I think with wrapping it with a, a thinner scarf, I wonder if I have a thinner scarf hanging out here. I do. All right, let's um, break the rule for a second. I gotta pull apart my, I took my, I took my head off the other day all at once from Alyssa's meat and uh, tossed it on the chair there. Let's not ruin the sorry by forgetting the pins. I did a really cool butterfly wrap for Alyssa's swim meet and goucher colors. Oh my goodness. Okay, last pin. So I have a, just a shiny licious here. This one came in at one of the kits, I believe, so crazy blue. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see if I can show you the difference. Okay. Pull this over a little bit. Do the crisscross applesauce. Keep you opened up. And I'm not pulling it tight, I'm just spreading it out. But you can see the difference here with the shape a little bit better than with the, um, the larger scarf. It's more conical here, I think. And I think that might also be the difference between in shape between this one and and the classic is this has a bigger, wider um, reservoir for the floof. So it gives a bigger back here, a bigger pillow. This pillow is set more vertical rather than horizontal. So you get a, a different shape 
to let's turn around a different shape to the pillow back here it almost makes me want to put the this one back on just to show you the difference i think and you could also get that get a view of that dip that i was talking about so when you wear a thin scarf it's you have to it's pretty much you have to put a um a second scarf underneath of it it's just so you don't get that dip now there is a an arm I've, I've heard about it. My friend Frida Hanna was talking about it with me. Um, there's an arm that can be used to wrap around to give it more, bu more bulk or more volume in this section. It's something I'm looking into tracking down just to see um, if that would give me the shape that I'd want to, that I, I, I think would be beneficial. Um, I'll have, if, when I find that, I will definitely do a video on that. Um, but I also look at that and go, if I have to have a shaper for my shaper, yeah, no, maybe I'm the only one that thinks that way, but I'm like, if I've got a shaper, I have to get a shaper for my shaper, this might not be the shaper for me. And while it does give a good shape or a nice shape, it is a great shaper. This comes back again to my, my love hate relationship with this particular one. I'm getting, you know, I do, I'm, I'm at the like, poor, I'm at the like, but I don't know. I don't know. When I see it with the big heavy scarves, I'm like, maybe we can be closer friends. And then when I put it on for demonstration purposes with a, a thinner scarf, because it is a thicker, it is thicker in um, weight in the bonnet. And I'm thinking if I'm going to wear it, do I really want to wear it only with lots and lots of different head scarves that's going to be warm especially if you're going in to a party or something i don't know i don't know it's my i'm going to stop brainstorming there i'm going to shut that off but um i know a lot of ladies who do love this one and again we're at the i like you but i don't like like you so this was the ultimate um, just for giggles, I think I might just put back on the classic. And see about... Did I lose my headband? I may not be putting it back on because I may have just, in the past two seconds, lost my headband. Oh my. Okay, well, apparently this video thinks it's long enough. Uh, there you are. Okay. Shoo. I was like, no, the cats didn't even get it. Okay. Put this on. All right, so I'm trying to hurry up. Let's stop that. Okay. Adjustments, adjustments, adjustments. No adjustments, okay. So let's see. Hmm. Okay, let's see what it looks like. I may be I may be wrong. We shall see.
again this is another of those scarf these another one of those shapers i only wear with heavier scarves so let's discover something new No, I was right. Okay. I thought I might have been wrong. This is, well, it does go in some from my head. It's not as much as, as the other shaper, as the ultimate. And I will say, um, never wear it with a ninja cap because I can feel the pulling right here in my, <laughs> in my head. Um, but yeah i'm thinking okay i was right this is a uh, this wider pillow makes for a nice wider back even though it is still coming back at somewhat of a cone shape a conical kind of shape um it's not as noticeable it's not as dramatic as the ultimate so difference slight like, slight like difference but okay, now that I've gone on and on and on about this particular this particular set of shapers, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I hope it's informative and helps you if you're on the fence or you know if you had questions about a particular shaper. Um, please leave any comments below. You know, if you like the video, if um, you have questions, comment below, and I will do my best to to answer them for you. But I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next tutorial.